the best examples of digital twins. Digital twins are detailed simulations of objects, processes or systems that are modeled using real-world data and used to experiment or improve performance. So let's look at some of the most exciting and innovative examples I have seen so far. Creating a digital simulation of it is incredibly complicated, but that, ha that hasn't put people off trying. So the EU-funded NeuroTwin project aims to simulate specific human brains in order to build models that can predict the best treatments for conditions such as Alzheimer's and epilepsy. And clinical trials using the model are due to start in 2023. The entire human. Okay, so this one is a bit of a pipe dream right now, but the science exists to make it a reality. Former GE CEO Bill Root basically predicted that one day every human will have a digital twin at birth, which can then be used to design bespoke treatments for that person when they become ill, as well as model the impact of lifestyle choices on long-term health. Using that person's unique genome, it would be possible to predict the effect of different drugs, providing insight into the best treatment options if that person is struck by conditions such as cancer or Parkinson's disease. Los Angeles transportation. So the Los Angeles Department of Transportation has partnered with the Open Mobility Foundation to create a data-driven digital twin of the city's transport infrastructure. To start with, it will model the movement and availability of micro-mobility solutions, such as the city's network of shared-use bicycles and e-scooters. After that, it will be expanded to cover ride-sharing services, carpools and new mobility solutions that appear, such as autonomous taxi drones. The whole of Shanghai. The Shanghai Urban Operations and Management Center has built a digital twin of the city of 26 million inhabitants, which models 100,000 elements from garbage collection facilities to e-bike charging infrastructure, road traffic and the size and location of apartment buildings. Their system uses data from satellites and drones to construct the living model, which among other uses is helping authorities to plan and react to the COVID-19 pandemic. It can also be used to simulate the effects of natural disasters, such as flooding to aid with response planning. The Los Angeles Sophie Stadium which is the home to the NFL teams, the LA Rams and the LA, LA Chargers. It has its own digital twin, which models not just the stadium itself, but also the 300 acre Hollywood Park campus around it. The digital twin was created as the stadium itself was under construction starting in 2020. It collects real time data and real time updates from every area of the park's operation into a single platform that can then be used to answer questions from event organizers looking to use the space or for maintenance operations. The world's first 3D printed bridge. The 12 meter steel bridge spanning the Os Achterburgwall Canal in central Amsterdam is remarkable due to the fact that it is the first pedestrian bridge to be entirely constructed via 3D printing. It is also unique due to the fact that it has its own digital twin. A network of sensors is placed across the structure and these sensors gather data for the twin, which can then be used to analyze the performance of the structure as it comes under stress during everyday use. And this is particularly important considering it is the first bridge ever to be built using 3D printing and more data about safety and strength of 3D printed structures is vital if this is going to become a mainstream engineering tool in the future. Every Tesla ever sold. Tesla creates a digital simulation of every one of its cars using data collected from sensors on the vehicle and uploaded to the cloud. 
These allow the company's AI algorithms to determine where faults and breakdowns are most likely to occur and minimize the need for owners to take their cars to servicing stations for repairs and maintenance. This reduces the cost to the company of servicing cars which are still under warranty and improves user experience, leading to more satisfied customers and a higher chance of winning repeat business. To stay on top of this and other super exciting tech and business trends, subscribe to this channel and check out my book Business Trends in Practice, which has just won the Business Book of the Year award.